what's up YouTube it's Marco Laturza just had a great workout and today we're going to talk about how to improve the recovery and how I make sure that my recovery is at the top so one of the major things that I do after a hard workout I will do a bath with this product right here so I'm not I don't want to advertise for that brand but I actually really like it uh, those are some special salts it's called Knipe and it's really good I really feel that it helps to recover I can really calm down after hard workout and yeah I sleep better when I uh, do this kind of bath can't explain why maybe it lowers down the cortisol but this is really a great product which I really like to use after a hard workout the other thing is I always make sure that I diet well no matter what I do after a workout I don't eat usually I don't eat outside because I want to make sure that I get the best diet that I can get to recover at the best level I ever can and the other thing is sleep I always keep telling that it's a difference when you sleep like from midnight to 7 a.m. seven hours or if you take those seven hours of sleep from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. in the morning I tell you now why when you go sleeping at midnight you're not allowing some of your organs to rest out well and if you go sleeping at 10 p.m. you will allow all the major organs to recover properly and this is very important when it comes to a good recovery the other thing is mental recovery it's not only about the body mental recovery is also super important so when I have a great workout I usually try to avoid you know uh, emotional discussions when I come home and see my girl because that affects my mind and the way I recover also I don't like you know to work after I come home in the evening after a workout because you know um, it distracts my sleep so I really make sure that I can settle down sleep well diet well it's all about focusing on the recovery the other thing is when you're like in a contest prep I would even implement one time per week a massage whole body massage to make sure that you work on the trigger points um, because remember when you're preparing your body is at the limit and the massage will like you know lose the tension that you have in the muscles and it's also good for your joints that's why I would also implement a massage one time per week or also a spa you know go to a spa uh, take a Turkish bath sauna is also very good for recovery so this is like my recovery protocol the other thing is take a lot of glutamine glutamine is also some of those things I would really suggest you to take because it helps you to recover after a workout I usually usually take glutamine before and after workout in earlier days I only took it post workout but I started to take it pre-workout as well and I can feel some difference in terms of recovery uh, this is about the glutamine another thing that you need to consider for proper recovery is to implement some cheat days usually when you feel tired or you don't feel like training you know you have some soreness going on for days that means that your body is asking for a cheat day there's no scientific research when exactly you need a cheat day but that's how I feel my body when I feel that I'm tired that I don't feel like working out that I have no power that means I need a cheat day and usually when I cheat I eat more carbs than I used to before I over calorize with carbs and also like one junk meal per day when I do a cheat day that's enough for me personally and uh, then I have more energy again my metabolism is working again and I feel like training again so also cheat days are very important when it comes to proper recovery but don't overdo it with the cheat days because otherwise you're gonna be like <laughs> like that right I almost forgot this thing here is your worst enemy when it comes to recovery why it has some blue white light that is blasting in your face and that really disturbs your sleep but there is a trick here which is new to the iPhone you can activate this the night shift mode so you just swipe it up here and then here there is an option let me 
show you here you see night shift here's the night shift and then you tap on it here okay yeah so now we activate the night shift here and now it's not anymore white but it's getting yellow the light on the phone which is better when it comes to sleep the best thing is that you switch off the phone completely before you go sleeping because like I said the signals that come out of the phone aren't really good for your sleep so guys that was the YouTube video about my personal recovery tips I hope you liked it make sure to hit the like button if you want me to do further videos about training and nutrition and I will surely give you some more pro tips for free if you support me on the way to 10k subscribers let's go guys out